Out of the box, Blackthorn Events sends a confirmation email that includes a QR code for an attendee to check into an event. With the rapid transition to online events, QR codes are no longer required on confirmation emails for a webinar or fully virtual experience. In today's video, we're going to walk through how to add our attendee link to your event confirmation emails. We'll create a new process so the confirmation email contains either the virtual meeting link or the QR code for your in-person events, and then see how it all looks for the attendee. First, navigate to the setup page and search for classic email templates. Select the new template option and click on custom without using classic letterhead. Next, give your template a name and make sure to mark it as available to use. Now, create a subject line for your email. In this example, I'm using a subject line with a merge field, meaning it will pull the event name automatically. If you'd like to use this exact subject line, you can find it in our documentation by following the link in the description of this video. Next, we need to add some HTML into the body of the email. To make things easy, we've included a couple of HTML templates in our documentation for confirmation emails, reminder emails, and a sorry we miss you email if your attendee doesn't show up for the webinar. By following the link in the description, you can see the various HTML templates we've laid out in our documentation. At this point, you can run an optional test of this email by selecting the Send Test and Verify Merge Fields option. Define an attendee record related to a virtual event and send it to your email. If everything looks good, you can move on. Next up, we need to set up an email alert to send from our process builder. This will make sure that the new email template we created actually gets sent out to attendees when they register. Start by searching for email alerts. Click the New Email Alert option and make sure to define the following fields. Give your email a description, set the object to attendee, define the email template we just created, and then set the From Email Address to Current User's Email Address. That last field will ensure that the emails that get sent out come from the user that's authorized in Blackthorn Events. Now we'll create a new process in the Process Builder. Select New and then choose the When a Record Changes option in the dropdown. Select the Only When a Record is Created option. Make sure to set the event category to virtual event as well. Note that at this point, we're defining this for virtual events and virtual events only. If you'd like to create a process for other types of events, such as in-person events, make sure to set up other category processes as well. Under the Select and Define Action setting, make sure to set the action type to Email Alerts, give it a name, and then select the email alert we just created. Your process builder should now appear similar to what this one looks like. All that's left to do is click the Activate button and we're good to go. Now whenever an attendee registers for a virtual event, the attendee will receive a confirmation email with the virtual event details and a link to join the meeting. It's important to note that Blackthorn Events comes with a static workflow rule for emails out of the box. Since we now have new processes defined for our virtual event emails, we need to deactivate this out of the box workflow rule. To do so, simply navigate to the setup menu and search for workflow rules. Since we just created a new confirmation email, we can go ahead and click deactivate next to the event confirmation email workflow rule. Let's quickly run through how this looks to attendees. We'll start on the event record where you can see that I have my streaming URL defined here. In this demo, I'm using a Zoom meeting, but we have built-in integrations with other popular streaming services such as GoToWebinar and WebEx. You can also paste live stream links from services like YouTube and Vimeo in this field as well. Next, we'll go to the event landing page and register as a new attendee. Once we're registered, we'll head back into Salesforce to see that the new attendee record was created. We'll also receive our brand new confirmation email in our inbox. At the very bottom of our confirmation email, our attendee will find a button that will contain their unique attendee link. Once the attendee clicks this link and joins the meeting, their attendance status on their attendee record will be updated accordingly. Keep in mind that no matter what streaming service you're using, whether it be Zoom, WebEx, YouTube, and so on, the attendee link will update their attendance status to attended once they click this link. For more information on the power of attendee link and Blackthorn events as a whole, find us online at blackthorn.io.